I was really honored to be invited to speak here. Uh, I have no idea <coughs> how much you have already learned in school about Darwin in this Darwin year. Probably you have heard something about the Darwin finches on the Galapagos Islands that inspired Darwin uh, to formulate his theory about the origin of species and that still is what evolutionary biologists try to do. They want to understand why plants and animals look what they look like actually. Why does a bat look like a bat? Why does a zebra look like a zebra? And uh, how do new species originate? And that's why I, a long time ago, as a member of scientists from the University of Leiden, went to the East African Lake Victoria. Um, that lake is what we call a cichlid lake. Cichlids are small perch-like fishes that speciate very rapidly so in that lake that you could conceive as a kind of inverted island um, it's possible to study the mechanisms of evolution it's possible to trap evolution in real time because these fishes speciate so rapid rapidly and originating from a few ancestral species uh, maybe even one you could, we know that now by studying their mitochondrial DNA, uh, a whole flock of species developed in a relatively short time, maybe even not longer than 15,000 years, which is an extremely rapid pace to see the evolution from one species and uh, in, into more than 500 new species, each with their own ecological specializations. So what, what you see in that lake is that um, there were phytoplankton feeders, zooplankton feeders, prawn eaters, uh, fish eaters, but even extreme specialists like scale eaters, only uh, eating the scales of other fishes. Uh, there were cleaner fishes that um, cleaned the parasites of other fishes. And I can even mention a more bizarre uh, specialist, the, the so-called pedophage. But then I have to explain you something about the advanced breeding system of these fishes. In these fishes, the females take the embryos in their mouths and they grow up there. They are so-called maternal mouth breeders. And in that cichlid lake, 26 different biological species developed uh, specialized in snout engulfing the, the snout of a female and <coughs> sucking up all her embryos. So that's an extreme um, specialized ecological niche, something may, maybe comp comparable with somebody who invented the first uh, laundry store. Uh, they weren't there a hundred years ago, but now they are everywhere. It's a, a, a very original way of inventing a new ecological niche. That's Maybe to you fish are boring, but for scientists they are very exciting because here you can trap evolution in real time. Um, the, the, the radiation of the Galapagos, Galapagos finches on the Galap uh, Galapagos Islands pales in the, in the face of the radiations of the East African cichlids. But I'm a writer as well and I want to read a short fragment from the book Darwin's Dream Pond uh, showing how I felt as a person that was studying fish day after day uh, year long. I still remember how my work with the cichlids changed my way of looking things uh, at things as I described in the book. If you work more intensively with fish than with people over a period of years, you start to see different personalities in the different species. 
the algae-eating philosopher, the snail-swallowing pimp, the larvae-sifting housewife, I projected human qualities onto fish, an activity considered anathema by every right-minded scientist, and in turn saw fish in humans. There was no longer any distinction between the two. While shopping in the market in Wanza, I continually spotted traces of fish personalities in the faces of Africans, Indians and Europeans. In passing, I whispered their Latin names under my breath, occasionally coming across someone without a double, one of those rare faces without an underwater counterpart. Wide mouths, protruding lower jaws, or by contrast small, short, highly underdeveloped ones. Thrunken mouths or parrot-like beaks, lips of all sizes from tight thin ones to thick fleshy ones, round straight and receding foreheads, a glazed stare fixed in large bulging eyes. I spent most of my time studying the characteristic shapes of the fish so that eventually, however deadening this can be for visual alertness, I couldn't stop looking comparatively. Discovering similarities between different cichlid species made me feel good. Identifying differences did the same. All that feeling good became almost too much for me. So that's a small fragment. These beautiful fish with their beautiful males, they're, they're, especially the males are beautifully colored, uh, however, started to disappear. The disappearance of species is the other side of the, of the coin of originating species. The origin of species and the disappearance of species are two sides of the same coin. And I had never realized that. Um, in the early 80s, as a result of the introduction of an, a huge alien predator, the Nile perch, um, the species of cichlid fishes were rapidly wiped out by the, by the perch. And I got a signal uh, that my time is over, so thank you very much.